Hello everyone. So glad to be back with you. Today we will look at the life of Esther and see what we can learn from her. Uh let's read from Esther 4 and verse 16. It says go gather all the Jews that are present in Susa and observe a fast for me. Do not eat or drink for 3 days, night or day. I and my maids also will fast in the same way. Then I will go in to see the king uh, without being summoned. which is against the law and if i perish i perish and those are the words of esther and i read it from the amplified version uh, and as we understand you know esther was uh, an orphan girl uh, who's who's a uh, past you know once again we don't know uh, too much about her past but just the fact that you know she was uh, in in this difficult situation where uh she did not have parents but thankfully one of her cousins uh became her guardian and uh, he took care of Esther and God orchestrated things in Esther's life in such a way that from obscurity God brought her to the limelight uh for his purposes and um, the the um story unfolds that you know Esther became a queen uh in 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 the palace and uh at a time when a decree uh, went out to destroy all the jews uh, on behalf of the jews you know she needed to approach the king and we saw in the verse that we read that she decides that she would go meet the king to make her request now in those days if someone went to see the king or enter the presence of the king without his desire or his permission uh, the answer was that no they they would be killed so she knew that going approaching the king meant that she would either die or if the king had favor on her she would get to make her point and so we see esther um uh, becoming that that queen who is taking a risk you know she is taking a risk for the purposes of god she is taking a risk for her people and uh, she says you know if i perish i perish and that's the extent of her commitment to the purpose of god where she was so selfless she knew that it was god who had positioned her in this place and that she had to do something for god uh, through her lifetime and uh, you know that is something that we observe uh, from esther now here are a couple of other things that that we see from the life of esther we see that our difficult past is no indicator of our future you know when we put our faith in god and when we are led by the counsel of god there is no um uh, you know uh, we 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 really don't know uh, how god is going to lead us but one thing we know as god promises that he has uh, he has good plans for us you know plans of hope plans of a future and that's exactly what god did in esther's life he gave her a good future and she even became uh, a queen we see that she was a wise woman she heeded advice there are instances in her life when she could have made her own choice but you know she would uh, listen to the instruction of her mentor so she asked you no know, hegai the person who was taking care of her na uh, uh, and uh, she took the opinion uh, of advice of mordecai and so you know she was somebody who wanted uh, to take advice so she was wise and today we know that god's word uh, is our source that we go to and she really depended on god for her deliverance and that is why she calls out for a fast because she understood that if god didn't move on her beha- behalf her efforts would mean nothing and, and uh, you know all of this inspires us to put our trust in god in the times that we live in now Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we pray that Lord, uh, your deliverance will be released through our lives the way it was released through the life of Esther, O oh God. Father, thank you for her obedience and Lord, we pray that uh, Lord, you will help us, Father, to to be obedient in the things that you call us to do, Lord. And Father, we just want to surrender ourselves for your purposes in Jesus name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.